Hello there, guys. So I know I haven't really been updating you on our Berry Bud solo event progress so far, but we have indeed unlocked the Blackberry Dragon now. And you know, Blackberry Dragon is probably my favourite dragon out of this event for, you know, overall style and everything. But very, very cute little dragon that I'm sure would be very delicious to eat. But this does mean that um, about a day ago we were pushed on to level 9 of the event. And you know, level 9 and 10 are very, very long. Level 10 itself taking over two days to complete, and level 9 taking a decent amount of time, at least a day as well. So, even though there's still about four days left in the event at the, you know, at the time of me speaking right now, it does mean that it's still going to be very close with the event. So, it's important that you are at least at the end of level 8 if you want to actually finish the event right now. If you're not, then you're probably not going to do it, but you can always use the wiki to find out exactly how much time you have remaining, but don't don't take the estimated times to complete or minimum time re requirements as the the actual solid number because there is human error you're not going to be logging in every single millisecond that a you know an item needs to be collected unless you are and you're logging in like every sometimes half an hour because the breeding quests in particular have been a massive pain because you know you need to do 12 of them which means you've got to be logging in like every 45 minutes or so to get those sorted and they are a drag you know what's more of a drag having to do training because I don't have VIP on this account. That is more of a drag than anything else. But, you know, we never do Android DML anyway, so this gives us, I guess you could say, a good opportunity to um, do a little bit of Android gameplay for a little bit. And, you know, for level nine of the event, we do have to do our dungeon fight. So we will go ahead and um, see if we can get all six of these dungeon fights done. Without us having a ton of really good legendary dragons or anything like that to use, these dungeon fights are a lot more difficult than they are on PC, obviously. Uh, I mean, our dragons are only like enchantment level 1 and 2. They're, they're definitely not the best dragons you're ever going to see in your life. But, you know, overall, I am looking to, on Android, replace this Hellhound dragon very soon. Because we're at the point where we've got level 40 dragons, which means that we need to start upgrading our temples if we want to actually get beyond level 40. And that's been kind of a struggle, because whenever you get to the sort of level 40 mark, you do start to slow down quite a bit because the, the temple requirements get sort of ludicrous. But Hellhound has done a very, very nice job for me so far. And this account's like, what, level 79 or something? So Hellhound... He's done his work, but it is time for us to invest into a proper, proper sort of late game team. But on Android, I don't really want to go with the same, you know, full aggressive offensive style of team that I do on PC anyway. Because, you know, I want, to, I want to do it slightly different. I want to try something a little bit new. So I am looking to be using a, a defensive team, including the reindeer dragon. Why the reindeer dragon? I don't know exactly, but water and wind in particular strikes my fancy. So either I want to use the reindeer dragon or I want to use one of the divines that's coming in the new divine event that has, you know, those sorts of elements on it. But I did unlock the reindeer dragon's third element a long time ago, so if I could avoid having to waste any gems on this very poor account, obviously I'd be pretty happy with that. But I'm still not decided on what the others are going to be. We do have a Tai Zenran on this account. We do have a Ra Dragon on this account. But I don't really think I want to be using Ra. Tai Zenran could still fit in a sort of defensive comp. Although it wouldn't be a super, super optimal defensive comp. But I'm looking for ideas. You know, this sort of thing, it does take a lot of planning. But most important thing is, you know, we need those temples upgraded first. Because otherwise, we are not going to be able to progress on the map. We're not going to be able to do anything, really. Like, it's one thing to try and decide what team you want. But if you can't even progress in the game, that's going to be worse than anything. Because, I've said it before, and I'll always, always say it. If you are looking for a way to progress in the game quickly, progressing on the map is by far the best thing that you can do. 
map progression gives you more food, it gives you more gold, gives you more XP, and all of that stuff for the fights that you're doing. So it is absolutely crucial that you just blaze your way through the map. Even if you don't have the best team immediately, blazing through the map is so important. And plus, I'm still at the point here, as you can see, where we're still using a Rust Dragon. And the Rust Dragon has been really good to us, even though it's only a rare. So, you know, all those times where I've said, you know, people have said, is my team good? Is this team good? It literally doesn't really matter until you get to the point where you have three, at least, set up legendaries slash divines. Literally does not matter until that point. So, I'm going to be sad to say goodbye to our Rush Dragon, although the Rush Dragon has been really, really easy to enchant, obviously, because it's got a, a set of elements that I don't really touch very often, and plus, you know, it's a rare, and rares and epics are easier to enchant than their special legendary and divine counterparts. But hopefully, with the way that you've seen me do the dungeon, hopefully it makes sense. I do have like five dragons-ish that are all around about level 35 plus in level. So we've really set our Android account up to be able to do any sort of castle event with the elements that we have, almost at least. We don't have void. So if we ever get a void only castle event, it would kind of suck trying to do it on this account. But doesn't matter, you don't need to be level 140 to be able to do all the events in DML. If you just formulate a sort of team that works for you, if all that you care about is, say, doing the events in DML, you don't even care about getting to max dragon level, you can easily make a team like this. I'm not saying this is the best option, but even with this sort of hodgepodge of testing and trying out different dragons on this account, it's gone pretty well. And I don't really struggle with any of the events, it's just a couple of the dungeon fights can get a little bit scary when I'm using just my Hellhound dragon, but apart from that, it's been smooth sailing. But when we swap to a proper, proper team, it's gonna be easy. So, you know, not to forget that in the dungeon at the moment we do have the chance to potentially get the Arboreal Dragon, which I am really, really hoping that maybe we get today. But, you know, if if our previous dungeon lock is anything to go by, obviously that's not going to happen. Haha. <laughs> Very cool. I, I obviously want a second Arboreal just for the sake of, you know, socking it to the, the stupid dungeon system in the game. At least dungeon dragon drops. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, Mr. Reindeer, do you really have to cling to life? Just an extra attack that I don't particularly want to do. But that is fight number six out of eight. Of course, we're going to pick the middle chest like we always do. And that is not the dragon. We don't even see it. I have not even seen the arboreal dragon yet. I didn't even see the cottontail either. Just bad luck, Brian, for us. So, if you are looking to finish off level 9 of the event, please do remember that it takes at minimum one reset in the day because you do need to do eight dungeon fights. Unless you just pay the gems for the extra, you know, two dungeon fights, but that would be a waste. So make sure that you keep that in mind. And oh, I just remembered that on this account, I don't have VIP, so we're actually gonna have to click all the gold manually. Oh, kill me. Oh, kill me. Well, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that, but you know, for the most part, that is essentially what's been going on with our Android account. We do have Gemini Alpha and we do have the Lilac Dragon on our Android account as well. So we will be potentially looking to breed beta, but not until this event is over and not until we get confirmation that there aren't any events going on next week as well. So that is just about everything. So for now, as I click, I will say my goodbyesies. But thank you for joining me. Best of luck with the event. I hope you get everything that you wanted out of it. And, um, you know, think, I, think about some ideas for dragons that we might want to use on our team.